Am I the only one who lays out the clothes they're gonna wear the next day before I go to bed? Okay, good night, guys. Jackson, we gotta go. Alright, what is going on guys? So I'm starting off this vlog, actually I'm on my way to school right now, and I don't know exactly why I wanted to start filming, uh, but I just thought I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you not what I'm doing in class, but what I'm doing like when I'm not in class, but at school, if that makes sense. You guys already know that I got it back in and actually for fourth period, which is right before, I mean, third period, which is right before lunch, I have math right here. So I just walk down these stairs right here, come out this door, come into here. And then that is how I can get to lunch really fast. So key, get if you guys are in high school and you can leave for lunch, park very close to your class so that you can get out of class fast and just leave fast. Come on. I'm like a man, this is for anybody who wears money. Y'all can sit in patterns and watch how the cash can do something. Also, before I go into class, I usually sit and listen to music for about 10, 15 minutes. So that's what I'm doing right now. You run this shit with you. So I'm actually at work right now, but I have a little bit of a problem. So the problem I am having is my right headphone works just fine, but my left one has no sound. really a problem because I hate having only music in one of my ears. Alright, so our boss just told us that we need to throw away these two toilets, whatever, because they're old and nasty. I mean, clearly, like, look at them. That is just disgusting. So why not have a little fun with it, right? <laughs> Bro, whose ricer car is this? It's got the twin rust tail muff pipes, right? Yeah, the rust and horse pipe. Clearly. We, he had some stickers here that, let's say there were three stickers, so that would be an equivalent of like 20. 15, 20, horse, 20 horsepower. But as you can see, they're now gone. And we got some nice mud, which adds to the effect of rallying, yeah. clearly, because he's rally master. So we lifted it by about like five inches here. It was like super low before, but we lifted it a lot, so it's ready for rally. We got the super thick tread tires here, perfect for rally. That's all we're worried about here. We got the premium gas, always, best for rally, as you know. Also got the carbon fiber door handles. Um, That's yeah. real carbon fiber, real you carbon can fiber. see. Yeah, this is the white. Sounds like it too. Yep, okay. And so we got these um, nice, side mirrors on here it is very nice makes uh, it easy to see the competition behind you so we've got the uh, it's a little bit squishy back here but we've got the Subaru symbol uh, logo and that that just, that's just 
It's the best thing you can have on a car. Why would you want anything else? Right? I mean, like, if you compare to that Honda right there, we're clearly, this is much slower, right? Uh, yeah, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. That one has a bigger turbo than this one, so. So, uh, that's our friend over there. <laughs> he can tell you a lot about the Subaru WR6. Now comparing it to the Kubota RTV 900X. 900X stands for 900 horsepower. So it's no no joke. Here. And as you, this is actually carbon fiber, so it actually it decreases the weight of the entire Kubota. Yeah, it's aerodynamic. Just why wouldn't you want one of those on your car? Or, so I mean, like 2003 WRX versus Kubota. Let's get it. Got the cat back exhaust on this. Now let's start it up. Ah, short nigga on my big tongue. What I told you, bitch dog. Only thug nigga down at the pit fall. Dirty band bitches wanna suck my dick off. I am actually going to leave this one up to you guys to decide. Who do you think won? The Kubota or the 2003 WX? Let me know down below. All right guys, so as you can clearly see, it is now dark and it's only six o'clock in the afternoon. But I'm going to end this video, but I'm also going to explain a little bit of things. So basically the whole reason why I wanted to talk about my broken headphones is because I was planning on getting new ones. And the headphones I were planning on getting are Beats Studio Wireless 2.0s. And so normally they are $379, which is a ridiculous amount for headphones that aren't even that good, honestly, because Beats aren't that great, but they do look sick, so that's why I wanted to get them. So Best Buy had this deal, they were $180. So I was planning on gonna get them, like right now I was gonna order them and then go to the store and pick them up. I checked their website like five minutes ago and they're now back to $380. Within the span of like Three hours, they went from $180 back to $380. So now I'm obviously not gonna get new headphones, so rip me, I guess. All right, so basically now, I'm just a little bit mad again from ranting about all the headphone stuff. It'll pass, so I'm just gonna end this video and stop talking about it, and I still have to edit my video. And then I have no homework, so I'm actually going to play Xbox again with my bro, Bridger. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star.